Hello, and welcome to Bear Creek Lake State Park, located in Cumberland, Virginia. My name is Ranger Sarah, and I am standing in a very unique spot of the park. This is where Bear Creek and Little Bear Creek come together to fill the lake. Since this is a man-made lake that was originally constructed in the late 1930s, the dam is located on the opposite end of the lake. Today, I want to talk about architecture. And when you think about architecture, you're probably thinking of like a skyscraper or a beautifully designed building. But humans are not the only architects. There are wildlife architects located here in the park and even in your own neighborhood. One of those architects is a creature that completely changes in a habitat to suit its need. This animal is the beaver, and it's a keystone species. A keystone species is any animal or plant that is so critical to an ecosystem that without it, the system would basically break. The beaver builds the lodge or a dam. The lodge is where its home is, and the dam is what they use to clog up a flowing stream of water to build a pond, like the one behind me. This dam is constructed using a combination of sticks and mud. Mud that they will dredge from the bottom of the pond to add to the wall to hold it all together. These ponds provide habitat for dozens of different plants and animal species. And they also purify and filter the water. At the same time, these ponds add nutrients to the soils through the sediment and rotting vegetation. Now I'm going to move to the other side of the dam. It is important that I don't go over the dam, but work my way around it. Um, so I'll see you on the other side. Now that I'm on the back side of the dam, you might have noticed that the water level is a little bit deeper here. The depth of this pond helps move timbers around since wood floats. When beavers follow a tree, they hopefully want it to land into the water. That way they can strip it of the bark and the leaves because they're herbivores, they only eat plants. And like most mammals, they can't di digest the woody materials. So it'll land in the water, it's easy to float, and they can push it here to the dam to use for construction. Again, once here, to begin building the dam, they start with rocks or stones if they're available as an anchor to weigh down the base. From there, they carefully interlock the timbers, and then they dredge the mud and sediment from the bottom of the pond to add to the dam. That mud and sediment looks like all this mess. They add it to the dam to hold it all together like glue. More beavers means more habitat for wildlife, clean waters, and healthier soils. It also means less damage from floods and forest fires. Now, challenge for you staying at home practicing safe social distancing. See what you can create with mud and sticks and share it in the comments below a picture of what your creation is. Thank you for joining us at Bear Creek Lake State Park. Stay safe and remember, wash those hands.